Good afternoon, everyone. My apologies for the delay. Um, thank you for being with us today for our Canada Job Training Grant and KO Sales U Open House. Um, I will go along here with our brief pleasant presentation. We have left plenty of time for a Q&A at the end, although if you do have a question, please feel free to interrupt, throw it in the chat, uh, and I will either touch on it as we go or we'll allocate time at the end. Um, in the meantime, please let us know where you're coming from. Uh, you know, obviously most are probably in Canada, except for myself, I'm based here in the USA, but my name is Mike Macchiarelli and I do work for KO Advantage Group based out of Calgary, Alberta, and we help businesses across North America. What is Canada Job Training Grant? Okay, so the Canada Job Training Grant Program, which is why we're here today, is uh, essentially the employer applies on behalf of their present or future employees for eligible training costs to be redeemed and reimbursed for them. And it's going to depend on your local province and the government has some different uh, criteria for what they will cover and also for the application and that we will touch on today as we go through. All right, welcome Nicole. Hello, Kim. Yes, very exciting. We love the Canada Job Training Grants. Uh, okay, let's move along. So Alberta, our home, we will start there. Alberta reimburses up to two thirds, 66% of the training costs of eligible training costs. Now, of course we are a sales training company and we uh, are gonna talk a little bit about our KO Sales U program and how we help businesses. However, please know um, there's a wide variety of uh, you know, training purposes that this can be used for. This is not just sales specific. So we would like to provide and pass on the education. However, you can uh, assist your employees. However, you could potentially invest in their growth and development to help your business. But yes, up to 66% is reimbursed through the Alberta program. And if the employee was previously uh, underemployed or unemployed, you can actually potentially get a percent of the training costs recovered, which is pretty phenomenal. Hello, Faye. Hello. Okay. So who is eligible for the training grant? Uh, in terms of the employers, Private sector employees, including sole proprietors and partnerships, nonprofit sector employees, First Nations and settlements, agriculture, financial services corporations, um, Alberta Treasury branches, and of course, more we have here in the industrial and energy and travel, which is a lot of the businesses and industries that we tend to help a lot use this grant application to reinvest in their business to drive more revenue. So that is on the employer side. On the trainee side, uh, we have Canadian citizens are eligible um, or permanent resident or protected under the Immigration and Refugee Protection Act. Business owners with four or less employees can be trainees. And this is one of the wonderful developments that they've actually changed earlier this year um, that business owners themselves can actually now uh, qualify for the training. So this is great for entrepreneurs, uh, and all small businesses. Employed family members as well are eligible. And of course the trainees uh, living in Alberta for the Alberta grant. So in terms of our program, our sales training program, KO Sales U, does it meet requirements and, and how does it meet requirements? Because this will also help you determine for your business what you could potentially use as a reinvestment for the grant and some of the criteria, really some of the main criteria. So number one, the, uh, the, the training does have to be 21 instructional hours or longer. So if you're looking for training for your employees, whether it's us or whether it's another company, whether it's sales or whether it's another skill set, it does need to be at least 21 hours of instructional hours. And what that means is it cannot be passive learning where it's just like watching a video. It does have to be classroom instruction with a live instructor, a, a real coach. It has to be a really person to person, a live instruction 
classroom setting. Um, we do meet that, of course, we provide 24 hours of classes in our baseline certification, this is the KO Sales U Sales Knockout Certification, which is the 100 level of our, of our course. Another criteria is the trainee does have to start within six months of receiving approval, so it does give some time. Um, and if this is something you're even thinking about, for the rest of this year, we're here in June, um, the you know quarter number three, quarter number four. The summer is a great time to start though for many businesses because it's slower. But go ahead and apply. You have absolutely nothing to lose. It is free for businesses to apply uh, so long as you create your account in the workforce portal, which is a link that we can provide you on the Alberta, uh, Alberta government site. The great news is you have up to six months to receive your training after you approve. However, you can actually start training immediately after you submit your application. And that is another change that they've recently made in the, the coming months before you had to apply, wait to be approved, and then start training. Now you can actually start right after you submit your education, uh, submit your application. What does this mean for, uh, you know, in terms of your eligibility? Well, um, so long as you meet these baseline criteria, it really seems as though many, if not most, things are going to be accepted. If the government is saying, um, of course, I'm not a representative of the government, but you know, it, it makes sense to, to believe that if the government is saying you can start training immediately after you apply, then right now at this time, it seems like it's pretty, um, they're, they're really welcoming these types of uh, initiatives and really looking to reimburse and help businesses and foster that growth. Also, it needs to be completed within 52 weeks of the start dates. So um, that's essentially a year, right? A year to complete after you start. And of course, with our program, you can finish in as little as two months. You can also train for the entire rest of the year. So the certification that will enable you to become reimbursed can be provided to you after as little as two months. Um, the great thing is though, you get a year of education as well with our programs. I'm not sure if that's, that might be different depending on what type of, type of training you invest in, but at least for a KO Sales U, that is we provide the entire year of education. And it needs to result in an actual credential, an actual certificate. So that is something to pay attention to. That is something to ask about. Do we have that? Yes, we have our certified sales knockout. Um, certificate that is provided to our students. So just to summarize real quick, because this is an important slide, uh, the training that you seek to uh, have uh, eligible needs to be 21 instructional hours or longer. You can start right after the application. You need to start within six months after receiving approval. Also, you will need to complete within 52 weeks of the start date and you also need to receive some type of formal credential, some type of formal certificate. Uh, British Columbia, get 62, now this is where it starts to differ a little bit as we go by province, get 60% to 100% of the cost covered by the provincial government here. Training must result in a better job at the company. So that is an interesting, uh, interesting criteria there, something definitely to pay attention to. Um, and it is high demand at the moment here. So first time applicants and small businesses are, are prioritized. So if you are looking to invest in this province, definitely recommend getting a jumpstart on that. And then if you are a first time applicant, even better or a small business. Who is eligible in BC? So this is dependent on the stream that your business, uh, that you're training for. So it could be anything from C19 impacted worker training, workforce training, technical training, and we have the workforce here in bold um, because that is what our program would fall under. Technical training, foundational training, person with disabilities, employment transition training. So a variety of different streams here. It's really just about selecting the right one. And also if, uh, if this is too fast, also we can we will or can send you this deck uh, to use as a uh, resource going forward. Who is eligible for the grant? In terms of workforce training eligibility, the employer must be fully operational for at least one year. B 
be in good standing with the province. <laughs> I'm not gonna, I'm not even gonna get into that. I don't know how businesses lose is good standing, uh, but you must be in formal good standing with the province. No real or perceived conflict of, of interest between the employer and the participant. So something to think about if that's relevant for your business or industry. Participant must be a Canadian citizen, permanent resident or unprotected uh, or protected under the Immigration and Refugee Protect Protection Act, similar to Alberta. Saskatchewan, <clears throat> very similar to Alberta, get up to two thirds of the costs recovered by the provincial government. Private and nonprofit are both eligible for this. So who is eligible for the grant in terms of businesses or nonprofits? Private and nonprofit sec profit sector employees. Uh, Self-employed are not eligible in Saskatchewan. That is something to make a note of must be a Canadian citizen or permanent resident uh, with SIN. And currently we have a note here that there is a high demand for the Saskatchewan grant. So something to keep in mind and uh, of course apply quickly if possible. <clears throat> Ontario, all right, greater than 100 employees is 50% reimbursement. If you are less than 100 employees, you can get up to 80 3% covered at a maximum of $10,000. So again, you can get up to 83% of the cost covered uh, at a maximum of $10,000. So if, of course, if it's over 10,000, it's just gonna reach that threshold. But that is pretty incredible uh, for reimbursement. That is, I believe, the highest among the provinces. If hiring and training the uh, an unemployed individual, you actually may be eligible for 100% coverage, which is similar to Alberta. Of course, the, you know, the government is really trying to reward or incentivize certain activities. If they can incentivize both the hiring and the training development, of course, we're all gonna get uh, a lot more for our investment in this. Uh, maximum $15,000 here. So it is a little bit of a higher threshold. It goes up to 100%, it goes up to $15,000 if unemployed. Uh, is if we're beginning with unemployed individual for the training. Who is eligible for the grant in Ontario? Small or medium-sized businesses, uh, a large corporation or a consortia of employees licensed to operate in Ontario, uh, applying for training that is delivered in Ontario and is related to a job that is also located in Ontario, so very specific there. And our note here is priority to those who hire unemployed people. Um, so of course, they're really, you know, going back to those, those thresholds. Um, they're really looking to spark hiring as well as training and development. In terms of the KO Sales U, um, so we are the leading um, virtual sales training platform for business to business professionals uh, selling premiums, products, and solutions. And we right now are inviting um, our prospective students to join us for the summer uh, to get ahead of that summer slowdown, to really focus on increasing the skills, increasing the confidence, being prepared to reap the benefits of the fall. And essentially, whether it's in person or virtual, get more meetings and close more high value proposals. Um, right now, we are also including Sell More Faster by our founder, Kim Orleski, as an additional uh, gift. And we are also inviting um, complimentary team training for seven or more. So if you have a team of seven or more people and you are interested in KO Sales U and how we can help, whether it's virtual selling, prospecting, writing the perfect email, getting more meetings, closing more high value proposals, um, even asking better questions, emotional intelligence. We have a variety of topics we can talk about. Um, we, are, we are happy to provide a 90 minute complimentary workshop for your team um, to see exactly how we can, we can serve you and how we can help you grow as a business. We, our baseline program for individuals though, here uh, is, $500 uh, USD. If, for example, you were to apply for the grant in Alberta and get 66% of the reimbursement cost back, you would essentially only be paying $148.50 um, for what would be a $500 per month training program. So it really is a pretty phenomenal uh, incentive. Definitely something to 
truly, truly consider if uh, at all revenue growth is a goal for your business in the third, second, third, or fourth quarter, depending on your, your calendar. Um, so here we have, we have a QR code right here, get up to two thirds of the cost of KO sales you covered by the government in Alberta. Now, um, go ahead and scan this code and that will connect you with someone from our team and we will help you with this process. Uh, we love helping businesses take advantage of this. This is an amazing opportunity. Some things sound to, uh, too good to be true, or at least coming here, you know, as coming to you from the United States where we don't have these incentives, we don't have these, um, these programs. Um, it really is truly amazing for the government to say, we want you to, we want you to close more sales. We want you to gain more revenue. We want you to grow as a business and we're gonna pay the majority of your training costs. Pretty phenomenal. So please go ahead. I'll leave this up for a minute. Take a snapshot of the QR code and uh, we look forward to meeting you. But in the meantime, I'd love to open it up for any questions. Um, so please, anyone who is here, what questions do you have about either the Canada Job Training Grants or KO Sales U? Hey, Matt, uh, Mike, there is a, um, a chat that came in uh, privately to me, and it was around the complimentary sessions. Um, if the person doesn't have a team, but is part of like a group, like an association or something, um, could they get that with their, for their association or their group? Um, the, yeah, the answer is yes, absolutely. We'd love to. We'd love to speak to your association or group for sure. Um, we'll reach out to you after this, uh, after this pr uh, presentation today, and we'll, we'll talk further and provide some details. That would be awesome. If there's any other questions, you can feel free to um, to put those in the chat. Um, also, feel free. Like, has anyone anyone in the room have you qualified or used Canada Job Training Grants um, in the past for for any type of training? Uh, the nice thing about this is uh, is that it does uh, the clock does reset every year um, for it. So we've actually had uh, companies in the past that have actually used this for several years. Um, you know, one year they may use it for for more marketing, another year they might use it for sales, uh, another year they might use it for some type of other technical skills, uh, perhaps, you know, going in on, on some type of team-based training, leadership um, development. Um, who has used um, Canada Job Training Grants in the past or maybe has heard about it but hasn't used it um, in the past? Um, I'd love to hear from you in the chat. Oh, great. Um, there's one more question here. Can the training be in any field? Um, if, if I'm not mistaken, the training, it, it is open to a wide variety of fields. There are various streams. Um, again, you can check the, the province, the website, um, but I'm pretty sure just about any training, uh, employee specific, um, if they're going to be utilizing that skill set for their job, then it would be eligible. Yeah. Um, Mary also had a question about the um, the new grants and training and hiring um, in Alberta. So I know that, um, yes, we didn't put the slides in there today. Um, but yeah, Alberta did release um, starting for, I believe it was around the end of May, kind of the beginning of June um, for uh, for tr uh, hiring uh, people, first of all. So the rules around that, Mary, are um, you are the government of Alberta will will uh, cover 25 percent of of a, a new employee's salary if that employee was previously unemployed or underemployed uh, before you're hiring them. So they cannot go from full-time to full-time employee, um, they, but they can go from a part-time to a full-time employee, or they can go from somebody who was previously unemployed. And um, and I believe the timeline has to be that the person has to be employed for at least three months. Um, and if they are, they're showing that they're unemployed, they can get, um, you can apply for 25% um, of their salary to be reimbursed. Um, the government will, will do that, yeah, pay you back in either one of two forms. You can either receive 50% of, of the reimbursement amount within the first three months and the other 50% after the employee has been in, employed with you for a year, or you would receive the entire reimbursement after the 52, 52 weeks of employment. Um, the, the employed individual does have to be employed with you for that full 52 weeks. So they have to stay with you for a year um, for you to be able to qualify for that. 
Now, they have offered um, as well that you can apply for the training portion as well. Um, I, I haven't seen how the training portion is specifically different to Canada Job Training Grants. Um, in all honesty, when I did the research on, um, on this additional hiring grant with the additional training, um, it sounded like you would actually be better served applying for any type of training through Canada Job Training Grant specifically and using the hiring grant um, specifically for uh, for hiring the individual, get the 25% reimbur reimbursement for brand new hires um, who are previously unemployed or underemployed and then apply for a second grant through the Canada Job Training Grants, which actually gets you um, a much larger um, larger piece of, of the pocket. Um, we did apply for the um, the, the recent um, Canada High, or sorry, the Alberta Hiring Grant. Um, it is a lengthy process. So you do have to have a digital, um, an Alberta digital ID set up. Um, they did ask for information, including our um, our letters of incorporation, um, our banking information. Um, they asked for our WCB records. Um, so if you are not currently um, a WCB holder, you do have to pay the $200 to WCB to get your clearance letter. Um, so for us, we are a, um, a an at-home, work-from-home office uh, where everybody's just doing um, computer work. Uh, there's really no no need for us to have the workers' compensation uh, board insurance um, assigned to us because we're not asking people to do physical or manual labor. Um, nor, um, nor are we asking them to be in an office environment where, as an, as you know, an office, uh, we would have um, separate requirements. So, um, so it is, it is a lengthy, um, a lengthy document. It did take us about an hour or so to um, to fill out. Uh, but the the WCB one was um, the one piece of information that we didn't have, so we did have to get the clearance letter for that. Um, so I hope that that helps you with Mary. So use the new Alberta hiring grant for hiring use the Canada Job Training Grant um, specifically for training. Awesome, yeah. Um, thank you, and yeah, I just, you know, thank you for the information. And if there's any other questions, um, please. Um, otherwise, um, the other thing to note, the reason why Mike had actually shown the different provinces is that each province you do, if you have employees across the country, so in many cases, we will have a team that will have um, employees in BC, Saskatchewan, Alberta, and Ontario. And, um, and they want to, one of the things that differentiates us versus other sales training is that um, like, for instance, um, a company that might be a franchise training company, you would actually have to either um, hire different franchisees to hire or train your, your company. Um, so therefore, you might have four different provinces with four different sales trainers doing this because we are teaching specifically virtual selling in an online environment. Uh, we're allowed to bring in everybody into a single classroom. But in which case, what what they may do is they they will have to apply for each different province province according to um, to those conditions so uh, we have one client in particular that um, that has several of their employees that have gone through our program and they'll have like two people in BC one in Saskatchewan two in Ontario and six in Alberta um, so they do have to put out four different applications for each individual that is in each different province so just be aware of that, um, that um, just because you might be head office in Alberta and um, and your most of your employees are in Alberta, if you have employees in other provinces, you do have to apply for the separate provinces in a separate um, and separate agreement. Um, and so we will work with you to um, to be able to, to manage that. Um, Alberta, you apply and you can immediately start. The other provinces, you do have to wait for approval um, before they will um, they will get you the funding. Um, and so, which case um, we may have um, we may have a, uh, a conversation where we will start your training. Let's say we had the conversation that we were ready to start training today, um, but you still want to go through the approval process. We would recommend that you actually don't start your training for 45 days out. And then, um, and then you will get all the approvals, uh, the pre-approvals for that. Um, with a 12-week training, 
Um, that could typically, if we're starting 45 days out, you may be going into um, starting at the end of July or early August, um, in which case then September, October, November, um, you will actually be uh, finishing your training well before Christmas, so um, by December 1st. But that does mean that you would have to, you would want to get started um, by, by mid-August at the very latest in order to have the 12 weeks of, of converse, uh, modules completed um, before you go into um, the Christmas break.